dangerous in the stalls. So. Yeah. yeah. Hospitals scare me. So, who did we decide on? So it was a crazy week during the adoption event. Uh, we got, during the week itself, 24 horses found homes. Uh, another one, Dallas, went to one of our adoption partners just not far down the road, hoping to find a pasture pet home. And today we've got Andy coming up from Liberty Lane Stables. She's been an adoption partner of ours for several years. And over that time, she has taken in 19 horses from Ponytails. The majority of them are still at her barn and they are doing amazing things from lead line to barrels to jumping and we are really excited to find out who they're going to take home with them this time. So, who did we decide on? All six. All, All six? six? <laughs> yep. yes. I so, knew it. I knew so it. <laughs> we have Atreyu, a Atreyu, Falcor. Falcor, Monarch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take Skittles. Skittles. And then and Bismarck and Riot. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> restraint. We don't have to take six just because we have the trailer. It's like we'll show restraint. There's no point in leaving an empty spot. Exactly. Honestly. You guys had the margaritas, didn't you? That's we're what made it. We didn't drink it all. Oh. <laughs> we're all stone sober the whole time. Yeah, this is made on sound <laughs> mind. <laughs> as sound as our minds are. So we are gonna get. Falcor, Atreyu, Monarch, Bismarck, Riot, oh and Skittles all loaded up here as soon as she can get backed up. Cody? Yep. Come here, Cody. Come on. Are you going to eat my clipboard? What are you hmm? writing about me? So far, nothing. Well, yeah, you're all that. You're all that, filler. Yes, you are. I don't feel like falling down in the mud today. Yeah. <laughs> Can you open up just a little bit? There we go. Good boy. Okay. Yep. That's probably pretty close. 26? Yeah. Between 25 and 26, I can't tell. <laughs> Look to be in pretty good shape. You do. Look to be in pretty good shape. Pretty good weight for a guy your age. I don't have food, sorry. Yeah, he does. Did you see that? Um, Look 
over here. See, this is his right shoulder blade. Okay. Nice muscular, looks pretty good. Look over here at this one. See how it's all thin? There's no bone there. Yeah. There's no muscle there. I think it's a thing called Tweeny, okay. where the, the pulling halters, they press on the nerve, and it damages the nerve that runs these muscles, and so these muscles atrophy. You can just see his whole shoulder blade right here sticking right up. What does that mean, I guess? Uh, he's just, they go good. They can do everything, but they're a little weaker at pulling their leg forward because this muscle's one that's atrophied. Yeah. yeah, it's from halters, or from collars. And it presses on, the nerve comes up over the top of the shoulder blade and it presses on that nerve every once in a while. Just for anything, but he's sure. I mean, there's just, you can just go right over top of the shoulder blade and there's just no muscle there. He has a muscle on the other side hit it on something it like I said it doesn't it may be will affect them picking their leg up is about all that it well, would bother sure that yeah the horse has got you all worked up when she, he got all worked up or she got all worked up and didn't she and <laughs> oh they did get her up <laughs> okay Mind if I look at your teeth? I'm just gonna look at your teeth, okay? I'm not grabbing your lip, I'm just looking. Yeah. Huh. Is he supposed to be in his 20s? 21. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I was just looking at your teeth. You don't look quite that old. See, he doesn't have a groove there. His just groove is just starting to come down. It's more like 15. Really? I'm saying. My old boy's 15? She was sure that an old four in her accident. He was two. Okay. No, well, maybe. Well, teeth aren't accurate either, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. See, he doesn't have his groove coming down on either side, though. It's just starting. See, either that or it's going back up. Now you can be in his early 20s. <laughs> He's supposed to be right around 20, right? Early yeah, okay. Well, looks a little younger. Well, he's either a little younger or a little older. <laughs> I can't tell which way that's going. 15 to 21. Yeah. It was nice that Andy and them were here to pick up uh, their horses. Um, we were able to put them to work and help get the three new surrenders caught and vetted. Stomach's growling so hard in there, I can't hardly hear anything. What was that? Obviously, she's starving. So yeah, right. Wasting away to nothing. <laughs> right before our eyes, in fact. <laughs> you don't look like you missed too many meals here, no, girl. No, she doesn't. Okay. Well, if they kept them at home, she wouldn't have been exposed to a stud. <laughs> Unless the neighbor got out. Yeah, 26 is pretty tough to get pregnant anymore. Is that what she's supposed to be, 26? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, okay. I just want to look at your teeth. Oh, sure. I don't think that's going to happen. We'll take your word. Yeah. It's like it's so terrible, I'll try to look in your mouth. But you're a real pleasure to worm, too, huh? Okay. Let's just see how your lymph nodes are doing, okay? I just want to check your lymph nodes out. Oh, okay, you're doing good. Boy, that face thing, man, you just don't want your lips touched at all. Okay, well, nope, everything else looks pretty good. It's a big old scar on that back leg, but that's. Oh. Oh, yeah, I Distracted. Let those people stay there and be real distracted. Mm hmm. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, 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 oh,
Now I want to see if I could pinch it. And see if I could give her like a give her like a sight to it. There we go. It's in! She can get all of it. That's all we'll do it for. Oh, we're going to rip that board off. Just, yeah. Good girl. I think I'm so glad we did it. Good job, bud. So we're thinking we're gonna load Bismarck and whoop. Thinking we're gonna load Bismarck and Riot first. We think if Bismarck he'll he'll probably just climb right on and him and Riot have bonded some, so we're hoping Riot will just follow him right up. Come on, buddy. Good oh, boy, Bismarck. It's ridiculous. It's, yeah. All right, come All on, right. buddy. All right, your turn, Ryan. Bismarck's in there. Oh, oh boy, Ryan. Oh, baby. You're okay, Skittles. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. Good girl. So we got Bismarck, Riot, and Skittles on the trailer. Now we're hoping that we can get a tray you on and that Monarch and Falcor will just kind of follow him up there. So Treyu led onto the trailer fairly well when we picked him up from his previous owners, so fingers crossed. It's going good so far. Good boy. Just rocks, buddy. Skittles kept sitting down in the trailer and finally we had to open the slant letter out. Everyone's a little worked up right now. You're all right, boys. Good boys. Nice. 
this job. Nicer in there. Good boy. You got it, Monarch. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. 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 Off they go. Good girl. Let him see. Yeah. Well, 20, 23 range, I guess. Put her in. Okay. Hi, baby. Just let me take a quick peek. Oh, boy. Oh, you got boy. a lot of worn teeth. Think she yeah. needs some work done? Well, they're like worn up to the root type of teeth, so oh. they could just go empty in there. So, oh, so yeah, she'll, she'll, need, she'll need some kind of work there. Well, ah. she seems to be gumming this up. Look out, don't walk into the hydrant. <laughs> that a girl. I don't know what she getting now. She was eating whatever it was. Okay. She wasn't spitting out chunks of it. So, rinse the food out of there. <laughs> but it just looks like it's big arc in there. Looks like it's getting worn up in, that's in the upper teeth. Yep, she's got a heart murmur too. It's on the first part of the heart sound. It's the like lub dub, and hers is like lush dub, lush dub. So it's on the first heart sound that she's getting a murmur. Not a real loud one, but it's a murmur. Her words. I don't know. Interesting to see. That you look like you're mushing that hay up and doesn't look like you're spitting it out, so. Okay. Here, you like that? Feel good? It's that for you? Okay, I'll scratch it. Okay. <laughs> you just want food. That's all you're really interested in, it's food. The more food you can get, the better. <laughs> it's kind of a gray. Yeah, she's got gray there, too. I don't know what to call that. It's not really a star, but Great. a faded star. <laughs> star behind the cloud. <laughs> if you say that on a form. Northern Lights. Yeah. Oh, you didn't like that one? And she's got a halter scar there, too. Yeah. Definitely need a foot trim, don't you, girl? Yes. Yes, you do. This way. Definitely need a foot trim. How are you doing? Huh? Hey, you're okay. Yeah, let's not wreck the hydrant. Them aren't fun to replace. Oh yeah, you're due. Just long. So far I haven't found nothing bad. Now which horse is this? This is Zephyr. Zephyr. You still think you're a bronc horse? She's definitely gotten a little sore. Yeah, she's like walking in, but the ground is terrible right now. Well, that and it's it sucks when it's froze at seven AM and then soft by three PM. Does it seem to be helping her at least or I mean I think so. Okay. Is this what you were talking about trying something different with her today? Or? Well, just doing like a different style shoe for all that support since we're getting all that growth back, but Otherwise, we get one more reset out of this, and next time we go to a bar shoe, we can put that equi pack in there for complete filler for the sole. I think you guys should take Cheryl with to the Lanesboro sale. Put her on Amish duty. I probably would get in trouble. I know I would. I know I would. You'd be a national TV. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're finally getting the frog to kind of come through after. How long? Yeah. Still pretty soft though. You can actually see <laughs> it's even got concave markings now. A fair amount of stretching from the lamina, but I mean that's a lot better than it was two months ago. What did you mean by concave markings? Well like where you know you get where the frog is. Mm -hmm. We can actually see. 
it now. You know, before it was just a hoof, a flat. The frog that's growing in is actually very healthy. So I think we're in the right direction of what we're shooting for. We've just got to get everything in here with that rotation because that the coffin bone's putting so much pressure on this and it's you know before it was so darn soft that you could just push 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 but now it's actually I mean it's still a really soft spot right here but the rotation's not helping that but it's everything's firming up the shoes have definitely helped so well, and the whole hoof ball itself it goes yeah right it's and it's much healthier than it was when we first started this you know well here look at this you can see where the frog wants to come through. There's your root of it. Mm -hmm. So there's your mark, there's your outline, there's your base, and then there's your outline. So in, you know, nine months from now, it'd be nice to see this looking like a hoof again. I never thought it would have came this fast. Do you think it's okay for her to be outside like we have her? We oh yeah, absolutely. Good for her spirits and exercise. We'll put a pad on, just a silicone pad, and then we'll just pack, put some hoof packing in there for extra cushion. That way when it still froze at 7 in the morning, but muddy by, slop by 2. And it helps with thrush too. Hospitals scare me. I don't go to the hospital, I just go to the vet. So I told Jim, if we have a really bad day, line up some blue juice. So where we got this excessive mark from the founder, we'll try and get that filed straight. We've got the hoof where we want it, as far as the uh, bottom side of the foot. But now that we've got this in line, I'm going to shave that off with the rasp and now hopefully being her frog is growing the way it is we can have her start growing a foot in the proper direction awesome. so every farrier's got like their tips and tricks one of mine that I've learned over the years is especially on horses with sensitive feet like a founder case if you put your nails in Vaseline it helps with the uh, you know, it coats them, kind of lubes them up, and it does help with the vibration. And when you get that little bit of a, the pressure of it flexing as you're driving a nail, the pinching sensation, it helps it drive better and relieves that, you know, it's not going in dry. It's got some, got some moisture to it, so it eases a little bit of the, especially a horse that's sensitive feet or one that's had a bad issue in the past or a bad experience with a, you know, anything, but 50 cents at the dollar store, Last year, year. Emergency room for stitches in your hand, 1,642 bucks. I only know because I looked at the bill last week. <laughs> yeah. He is said to have navicular. Um, it doesn't look super terrible, but if you go back to that one picture you were just in, mm -hmm. what Jim is most concerned about is that right there. It's right here. cyst in the DDFT. Um, okay. So he's not sure. We didn't realize until he came back about the navicular. We were told arthritis in the knee, right? Yeah. And this is who? Joey. Joey. I don't think you've seen him yet. Okay. But so anyway, looking at the original surrender form, she's saying he needs shoes to stay sound because of the navicular. And it must have got overlooked or something, so no. he's never even had shoes put on. So you're thinking bar shoes with pads, or just trim proper barefoot, or what do you guys want to do? She says he needs shoes, he he needs shoes to be sound. He's definitely very ouchy, but he definitely moves like he's navicular, yeah. which is what even had us questioning it when Jim was here. Um, Super tender on the fronts. Yeah, but then when Jim looked at that and that was like, oh, that's right, there's a cyst, he's like, well, well then navicular isn't like that. I don't think. No, I've seen worse. But she did say... She shoes? said he has those shoes to be sound because of the navicular. 
gym questions what discomfort the cyst is causing. So we figured uh, well, the only way to know right. get shoes on and find out. That's the thing. It's if um, it's obviously one or the other, but it's how much do we got to play around to figure out what it is? Right. And he's young. He's what twelve. Yeah, he's really young. Yeah, really young. That's the sad part. There's a lot of good horses out there that are super, super broke, but they got navicular. It's your call if you guys want shoes on him or not. I mean, I'm willing to try to see if it helps. Okay, we'll go with bar shoes, though, just so he's got support on that, you know, on the heel. Poor man way of doing it is I've seen guys turn a shoe backwards, but you, I've seen him start teetering, and then you strain this. And start, I've actually seen horses cripple themselves. How they did it, I don't know, but they get, they break over too fast. And I've seen horses completely wreck that. Yeah, and it's a pain tolerance thing too. It's, I've seen horses, I've seen, a, I did a draft horse one time that walked up completely sound. I went to trim him and just carved, just to, we're going along the frog. There sat the coffin bone. How that horse walked, I don't know. And then I've seen horses that, they like the donkey, had pea gravel and you thought he was going to die. Uh, more lameness. Increased him three degrees more. That seems like he went huge... three degrees at once? It sounds like it. And he was worse. Looks like that's about it. They did the x-rays and then he came back. What's your concern with the pressure? I'm scared we do too much pressure at once with the pad. It can make that cyst irritate and inflame. So I'm thinking of doing just a regular shoe, but he but heal it in a lot more. So basically, what you do is use a shoe that's one size too big, but wrap that heel all the way in. But it wouldn't be covering the whole base of the frog. But the pad would make up for that. Because if I do too too much pressure point on it, it could inflame it. And then we're gonna have real big problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, hon. How are you? You can relax, you know. Yeah, it's. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So it stayed. Solid. So I mean, instead of trimming that. I would rather leave it set for another week and then what I'll do is trim this toe down and then I'll just have to rasp that off. Should we wrap it again? Leave it right off. So now that she's got a heel to stand on like this versus before, it was like, you know, yes there was a shoe there but you walk so many times you're going to bend that shoe back from the weight and pressure. The only thing that scares me is how low this pasture has dropped. Um, yes, that's a common thing in standard breads, but that's awfully low. Granted, she had absolutely nothing to begin with, and now she's got something, so she might be one that we'll have to build up too. I mean, but. Yeah, yeah, the wall was flexing and then I patched it here, that way the heel can grow through. So I can't do too much at once because if I get that in there, that'll still push the wall out and not allow a heel to grow. But So I'm thinking for after this sets and she gets used to it in a couple of weeks, what we'll do is we'll trim this toe and kind of reform her angle best we can. Granted, they're a more flatter footed horse, but get an angle best you can rasp this down so it's flat and then we'll get a shoe on 
and then we'll get some of that equi pack in there so the shoe can't like bend but get a support back on here but, next time yeah good Still a little tender, but this is where the worst part was. I mean, you can do that, and it's so it's solid. I'm just gonna give that time to heal from the inside out, and so both till next time, huh? yeah, kind of let this set, let that heal from the inside out. You know, that'll at least be three weeks. That's pretty good healing time, and then, because yeah. honestly, looking from it, we can take. So this growth line, not the big one, but in the center there, right there. So take that much toe, that'll get her hope oh, from this to more that. I just took a pretty picture of you like an hour ago being super sweet. Calm Go ahead, Gretel. Just put Liesl and Gretel outside. They're getting pretty stir crazy in the stalls. There's it's a bit dangerous in the stalls. Yeah. There's no reason they really can't be outside, so out they are. Out they are. Just in time for the rain. Enjoy guys. So I'm seeing two old blood blisters here, and this foot's very rough. It's not finished yet for anybody that has questions. But there's some old blood blisters there, and now this is... I've, I grew up with drafts, and I've seen that a lot. You get that from undersized shoes from being on the pressure, and then along the hoof wall where your nail line would be, you always have like a black dot from your, your mark. But them ones have turned almost brown ish red so I would guess a hot nail that went into the missed the nail mark and caused a hot nail and at one point she was probably lame almost almost as a scar pretty ouchy yeah see that doesn't hurt <laughs> good girl no it's just a suspension ligament that's the only one that hurts too the other three She's fine, but this one, when you pinch it, she's, she'll flinch just every right time you pinch it. Yeah, just right from it. So what do you think? Oh, it's probably just, well, she's doing her right, just rest. <laughs> Try not to slip on the ice. Well, yeah, if she's going to be icy out there, cause every time she slips, it stretches that out on her. Yeah. 
Well, let's first let's look and see if you look at your little teddy bear ears. Looking better. This one, right? Yep. Okay. I ain't gonna hurt you, big girl. Easy. Yeah, that one looks pretty good yet. She's probably one that we can do, you know, next time because. She's got some to take off, but if she's starting to feel better, I don't want to change anything. Let her get accommodated to it. That's the thing with like a horse with a suspensory issue. It's okay to let them get a smidge long so they can adjust to that versus trim, trim, trim every four weeks. Cause then you're not teaching the suspensory ligament and everything cause nothing changes. It almost lets it flex a little more and heal up. Get a better feel. Yeah, I remember when we did her, easy. It definitely doesn't feel as stressed or strained as last time. And not as inflamed. So, that's a good sign. It'd be like spraining your ankle and then going to try and run on ice. You're gonna do more harm than good. If you got the room, I'd stall her. Peace of mind goes a long ways. Getting around really good, huh? Tazio's story is one of heartbreak. It started many years ago with big dreams and aspirations for his owner. Tragedy struck and overnight her entire life changed. She was no longer able to care for him. Her dreams were shattered. She always hung on to hope that one day maybe while he was happy running in the pasture and being with his friends, the years kept passing and he kept getting older. She finally realized it was time for Tazio to move on. You got it, bud. To make things even worse, over all that time, Tazio had little to no training. He's haunted broke, it appears, at best. He's very glued to his pasture mate whisper. Um, he's a very large horse, and he is going to need pretty much everything from the ground up. At 21 years of age, starting his life over is going to be difficult. He's a good boy. He's very sweet. This is not going to be an easy, simple process. And we can only hope that in the end, he'll find the life that he deserves. So I was just emailing um, the lady who sent us the coat for the x-ray machine. Give her space. We are now down to just 29 horses, <clears throat> which we haven't been that low in a long time, but we got an auction coming up at the end of the week, so we gotta get ready. <laughs> 